God created the animal kingdom to mostly be divided into two groups, animals that are prey and animals that are predators. The concept is simple. The predators are the ones who hunt and eat the prey. God gifted each of these groups of animals with certain instincts and abilities so they can survive in the wild. We need to learn the differences in these two groups of animals before we can understand our horse better, how they react, and what they are thinking. That's what this series will be about, learning how horses think and how humans think and how we can communicate with each other. Let's look first at predators. Predators such as lions, wolves, tigers, etc. were created with the ability to hunt and kill their prey effectively. Predators have their eyes set in the front of their face so they can use binocular vision. Binocular vision is the ability to focus both eyes on a target and accurately determine distance and speed. They don't need to move their head in order for their eyes to focus on an object. The predator's brain takes this information and processes it quickly. The predator can use great bursts of speed to outrun and attack their prey. Predators will many times lie in wait for the prey to come within close range. The predator will leap and attack the prey using an effective and deadly hold. Predators must be calculating, smart, and quick if they're going to snag their next meal. They must be relentless in their pursuit of the prey animal. We call this straight line thinking. Humans are considered to be predators. We share all the characteristics of all predators. We are, in essence, the ultimate predator. Our eyes are set in the front of our heads, giving us the ability of depth and size perception. We can clearly determine if an object is three feet away or across the street immediately without having to move our head to determine this information. We are straight-line thinkers. We can focus on one specific task and carry it through. We can use reasoning and calculating abilities to solve problems in an efficient and methodical manner. Let's now look at the characteristics of prey animals. God gave prey animals an amazing ability to outthink predators. God set the eyes of prey animals on the side of their heads. This allows most prey animals to have a full range of vision all around them. This allows them to see predators coming from any direction. This is called monocular vision. Prey animals are very good at seeing almost completely around but may not necessarily be able to judge depth or distance as well as animals who use binocular vision. Prey animals tend to use flight or running away from danger as their first line of defense. When they determine it is a dangerous situation, prey animals run as fast and as far as they can before stopping and turning around to see what they were running from. Prey animals usually only fight if they are cornered or they're defending their young. Prey animals will many times stay in herds or communities for safety. The best defense for a prey animal is grouping in large numbers. These innate predator and prey traits are within all animals. Even highly domesticated animals, such as our pet dogs and house cats, still are driven by these instincts. No amount of breeding or training will be able to change these characteristics. When my daughter was young, we bought her a baby rabbit and a kitten. Even at their young ages, they responded to their environment as either a predator or a prey animal. 
the kitten, a predator, played by stalking and pouncing on anything that moved. The baby rabbit, a prey animal, quietly sat in a safe corner and only shyly explored her surroundings. Needless to say, these two babies had to be kept apart. The kitten's rough play would have surely scared the poor baby bunny. Animals and humans are created to react to our surroundings in the way God determined. He did this so all species would have the best chance for survival. Predators or prey animals cannot change what they are any more than a leopard can change their spots. However, God set us above the animals by giving us the intelligence to evaluate and reason. We can control our actions and our reactions. It is this gift that will allow us to bond with our horses in a partnership. The more we learn about prey animal behavior, the better we will be able to understand how they think and why they respond to certain stimuli in the manner in which they do. It is possible to establish a partnership through love, language, and leadership. These three concepts form the basis for any relationship. Animals have so much to offer in our lives if we just take the time to try to learn how to effectively communicate with them. The three elements that are crucial to any good relationship are love, language, and leadership. Our relationship with God is no different. We must love God with all our heart. We know He loves us. We must establish a lover's language with Him. This is a vital communication link that is established through reading our Bible and prayer. We also must accept His leadership in our lives and dedicate ourselves to following His plan for our life. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Mark 12, 30.